Starting next fall, Omaha Public School children will be taught the Human Growth and Development Curriculum, also known as Sex Education. The controversial topic was reviewed over the past year, and last night the board voted to approve the material schools will use. Reporter Miranda Christian joins us live with more on last night's meeting. Miranda? There were dozens of people at last night's meeting and several showed to speak at public comment, but there was some confusion when it came to the number of people who got to speak and in what order. More than 30 people signed up to speak in a one hour public comment forum at Monday night's OPS Board of Education meeting. Those for and against the new sex ed curriculum stepped up to the mic. You've taken painstakingly long and uh, appropriate steps to try to get input. But at the end of the day, 93% of OPS parents have said that there is a need for the update. You're setting these kids up to get, get raped, One minute. change their sex. You, you're, going to have, you're going to have to understand that you're going to have to answer to God for everything that you, you're doing here today. Only 17 people got to speak before the hour ran out. The board voted to not extend the public comment session, upsetting those who felt their opinion was worth hearing. I don't have, I didn't call you to come forward. OPS said in a statement, the Board of Education voted not to extend public comment period yesterday evening, citing the numerous hours of hearing public comments at all previous meetings related to the HGD update. There was a lot of concern that the order of the speakers was put in favor of those opposed. And someone had moved the members of the Nebraskans for Founders Values to the front. I think some of our teammates were kind of confused when they came in and filled their forms out because there wasn't anybody at the desk. There was nobody from OPS at the desk. We know the rules of the game. The rules of the game are you get here early, you get a pink sheet, you fill it out, and you go give it to the person who's in charge. We followed the rules. OPS says they encourage people to make sure their comment slip gets to an OPS employee before every board meeting. OPS says teachers and nurses will start training this summer to use the new curriculum this fall. The district says parents do have the option to opt their kids out of the human growth and development classes. Reporting live, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News.